people see that? Yeah. They can't do that. We can't let them do that. I don't love it either, but... But what? Do you not find that disturbing? Well, are you going to find these games on any playground, at any kindy? Kids have played with guns before the shooting. They're going to keep playing those games. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, how did it get so insidious and normalised? Our kids were in the hospital that day, for God's sakes. Well, look at it this way. It's a miracle they're not quivering bloody wrecks. Well, you name me one night in the last two weeks where we've had our bed to ourselves. Maybe it's just, I don't know, their way of processing it somehow. We need to talk to them, to teach them. Yeah, we do. More than. Come here. I just had another gunshot patient yesterday and it seems like it's bloody everywhere now, like we're not safe anymore. <laughs> you getting bored? Yep. You want to go get a coffee? Uh, no, I just want that tablet. Uh, oh, please, please. You are a patient, not a doctor. Just give it to me. Come on. Thank you. Give me a rundown. Oh, it's business as usual. Broken bones, tummy ache, gout. Chico, what are you doing here? Oh, he's checking up on you. <laughs> well, I'm happy now. Whatever. Get back to your bed. Yeah, it seems uh, Mr. Clark's gout's back. Right. Yeah, I've given him corticosteroids. Uh, have you given him uh, joint aspiration? No. Should I have? Well, he has a history of uh, infections. It might be septic arthritis, not gout this time. I don't realise. Well, how would you know? I've given him the wrong prescription. Oh, well, I've just sent him to the pharmacy. You want me to go grab him? Yes, please. Thank you. 